What's up guys, welcome back to Daniel Talks Football right here on YouTube. I am Daniel and we are back with another video. In this video we are going to be doing an ideal Everton transfer window, what Everton need to do to survive in the Premier League for this year and then also next year. I haven't decided what I'm going to title yet, but it'll be something along those lines. We've got an Everton specialist on the line to help us discuss this stuff and it's going to be a very, very exciting video. Before we do get into it, please make sure to like the video, comment down below and also subscribe to the channel. Go over and follow the Instagram and the TikTok, Daniel Talks Football on both. It's the, one of the first videos I'm recording in the new year, maybe the second one, and my new year's resolution is to post more TikToks and Reels because I can't lie, I slack on them massively. So do go over and follow the two socials so that you can keep up to date whenever any of those go out. We've got Jay on the line. How are you doing, mate? I'm all right, Daniel. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Um, I'm ready to talk about a really, really depressing club such as Everton. I'm not. Well, why is that, Jay? Because... For those that haven't been keeping up to date, how's the season been going so far for Everton? Absolutely brilliantly. We just drew to City away. Mm -hmm. Yes. Big result. Absolutely huge result. So, beating the best team, well, we didn't beat them, but competing with the best teams means mm -hmm. you are one of the best teams. So, there you go. Where are you in the table? That isn't <laughs> a thing that you should discuss. Where are you in the table, Jermaine? <laughs> Because realistically, your position in the table doesn't really matter. Where are you in the table? Doesn't matter. Sixteenth. <laughs> Sixteenth! Um, okay, so you're sixteenth in the table. Right. So we're going to be discussing, first of all, the business you need to do in January to stay up. This squad is a mess, I think it's fair to say. Would you agree? I'd probably agree. Yeah, there's a lot of deadwood, isn't there? Yes. A lot of it. Um, we've had this discussion many times on this channel and other forums. Um, but yeah, Everton are awful. Uh, who do you need to get in in January then? So for January, I've got two championship strikers, which is because I can't be honest, it's our level now at this point. <laughs> like, we are beyond saving. Even Ancelotti came, left after a year because he saw how much of a mess we are. Anyway, um, so I've got two options here. I've got Ben Brereton of um, Blackburn, he's got six months left on his contract, I believe, now. Yes. So we could get him for a very cut-down price or we go for him free in the summer, whichever. Mm -hmm. But ideally, I'd want him in January. And you've got, I'm sorry if I mess <laughs> this up, Jokerez of um, Coventry. Coventry. We've, we've been linked with him since God knows how long, since the last, I think, three windows now. Mad. And, yeah, so... Especially with the mess that's going on at Coventry right now, I don't know what's going on. Is it something to do with that ground? I yeah, don't know what it yeah. Is. Well, Mike Ashley brought the ground and then evicted them. Yeah. So. <laughs> Donut. From that mess, they probably have to sell. Maybe some of their best players want to leave. So hopefully we can get him in. He's got, I think he's into double digits now and for goals in the league. Not bad. And yeah, Berrettin Diaz. I think he's also in double digits. And my last one would be Pavlovic, assuming that... I don't know what club he plays for. I think it's Salzburg, if I'm not wrong. I think it is Salzburg. Um, we, in fact, this isn't scripted, but we uh, we mentioned Pal Pavlovic in a video of a one player every Premier League club needs to sign of a World Cup star, which came out on the channel on Monday. So go and have a look at that, because I chose him for Everton, shockingly enough. Oh, wow. Exactly. There you go. Um, this is also for assuming that we get rid of defenders in January as well, or the summer, because I'm assuming Keane has been, so this is a little, what do you want to call it, transition to January out. So we've got Michael Keane, who has been linked with a move to West Ham recently. How is he back um, in that? Uh, God knows, because West Ham are actually worse than us right now, that's why. That's they're, saying they're something. They're 17th right now. That's saying yeah. something. Um, they've said that they're willing to pay about 20 million, I heard, which is, <laughs> if, I mate, take that in a heartbeat. If you would get more than two packets of Walker's crisps, you snap their hand off. I would. I would happily. He's awful. Um, yeah, so, wait, moving back to Pavlovich quickly, I said him because he had, for me, had a very good Euros campaign, and he's been a consistent player for that Salzburg side. And he's just the defender who I feel as though would fit our system very well. Mm hmm I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. looking at Pavlovic, he was one of those players obviously, obviously disappointed in that Serbian side. We can't forget how poor Serbia were throughout the Euro, uh, throughout the Euro, throughout the World Cup, sorry. But, mm -hmm. we say that, 
in the three games that Sarvia did play, I did actually think it looked quite good. So, yeah, I totally agree with that. And then you've already mentioned Keane. What are the other outgoings like? Uh, so, we've got Abdullah Decore, who doesn't really get into the side anymore because we've got... We, we, we have a solid midfield already, I believe. Like we've got Garner Gay, who is a champions... He's made appearances in the Champions League. He has. You've got Onana, who has been pretty solid for us. He's yep. got his... He's got his flaws, but he's been solid. Young player as well. Yeah. And you've got Alex Awobi, who has been the best player in the league since um, um, Lampard's come in. Haven't you got Tom Davies as well? We've got Tom Davies. We've got uh, James Garner, who's injured right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else do we have? I'm trying to think. I was going to say Alan, but he left. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, the Corey right now, but it doesn't really get into the side much. He's been linked with a move away. A few times, I heard Watford were actually also in for him, but the shock one that I saw was Juventus, <laughs> because he's got six months left on his contract, and with if Rabiot decides to leave, then they are going to go for him. That is funny. That is very funny. That is From Everton to a club that is arguably in about as much of a mess as us. Yeah, well, more yeah. Juve have been awful. They couldn't sack Allegri early on in the season because they didn't have enough money. Yeah, and they've now not even got a board, I don't think. God knows. Yeah, and then finally I've got Deli Alley, who I think Bishik, that's what I actually want to send him back in the January window. So Would not I think me. it's the best idea for us to just get rid of him as quickly as we can. Where does Deli Alley go? God knows. Anywhere. What, I mean, he failed at Bishik Tass, he failed at Everton, he ended up failing at. Well, he played well for Spurs and then obviously dropped off the edge of a cliff. Move to Everton didn't work out, nor did the low move to Besiktas. MLS? Either MLS, somewhere around, or I highly doubt it. But obviously, the championship is an option. But He's not going to do that. Drop down. He S- would not drop down. Saudi Arabia is an option. Oh, yeah, we saw Ronaldo. Yeah, he he can he can go and feed through balls through to Abubakar and uh, Ronaldo, uh, whichever Al it is. The dream. Al Nasser. The Mate, dream. they're they're all owls in that. Yeah, it annoys me. Um, all right, so that's January done. And yep. do you think that business will be enough to keep you up under? Well, actually, no. First question: Does Lampard need to go as part of this January business? It's hard to say because I'm just thinking if we sat because we've sacked so many managers over the last few seasons. Yep. And we've seen that sacking a manager does it basically does not help our situation. Last season, it did. But um, I'd argue that last season we were in more of a mess than we are this season. Uh huh. Um, and the other thing that makes me think is if we sack him, who do we realistically get in? I've got an option for this. Mm-hmm. Moisey. I was thinking that because West Ham have such a good squad, and for for his squad, he is Moise is very close to badly going. underperformed. Moise he is, is very close give it to two to three two to three weeks. If they don't stop picking up points, Moise will go. That's yeah. a good that's a good option. He's he's been at Everton before. Would he return to us? Would he return? Though? I don't really know what much of a better job he's going to get. Yeah. Uh, because Wolves and Villa have just got new managers, so yeah. If you could get that and, done. Does it depend on the managers out there then? Yeah. Um, you've got Bielsa, obviously, who I'd absolutely love. However, realistically, he does not join us. Nope. Uh, who else is there? There is Scott Park has recently just got a job at um, Club Bruges, Bruges, hasn't he? He has. Yeah. Um, I would have wanted him. I maybe would have wanted him in, but that's well, obviously gone. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't really know so you're not sure you're not well. sure all right fair enough we'll move yeah. to the summer then obviously if that january transfer business is good enough to keep you up and we'll presume that you do do that business and it does keep you in the league what targets yeah. do you have for the summer window um one that i've seen a lot is we're planning on getting a langren on loan so okay. whether that's whether we do it this season and get him in for 18 months or whether we do it in the summer for a year i don't know um, I think he'd be a good option for us because he adds goals unlike any of our other wingers mm-hmm. um, because well obviously we need wingers who can bring a goal threat because we now have a, we now have two strikers we're in a situation where we have two strikers with 
absolutely zero service. Well, you've so got, it's gone to the point where we are depending on. Wingers you've got, to, you've do got to remember. You've got to remember. We're looking. At, you're looking at the summer. You've now got Brereton Diaz and Gyoka as in. So you might have some strikers now. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Yeah. Uh, uh, whether they do enough is another question. Oh, questionable. Yeah. All let's right. assume so, they do well enough. So Elanga then is one. Yep, we've got Joe Rebo for if Southampton go down because I think Joe Rebo is quite a good player. So. I think he's very good. Um, and obviously if they go down, he's at a very cut down price. And I just think he'd be a good option for us for if Decore leaves. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair um, enough. Yeah. Um, the next one's a bit of a weird one. However, I think we could negotiate a deal for him. I've got Vinagre in permanently. Okay. Now... He hasn't played much this season, mm. but from what he's played in the cup and he's made a, he's played a few minutes in the league, he hasn't been that bad. Awful. He hasn't been bad, and I think the buy option for us is, I think it's lower than ten million. I think I'm pretty sure it is lower than ten million. That's so, not bad. I, I think for ten million, realistically, I think you've got to go for it because it's a good backup option to Mikelenko. He could play on both sides. So, yeah, basically just as a backup. Fair enough. And then, is yeah. there any more lads in for the summer? Um, I've got one here, which is, this is only if Gordon doesn't sign his contract. And I've got Maxwell Corney. Okay. This is a weird one, because I think he is he's a bit like a better version of McNeil, because he's a winger who can track back, he can win the ball, he's fast but you can actually shoot and you mm -hmm. can play across the entire attack so I think he'd add depth in every single one of those positions mm -hmm. and I think he just brings more to the game than either Gordon or um, McNeil Fair enough now the summer's going to be an interesting one for whatever side you're looking at in that sort of mid-table to lower mid-table area because no matter what happens this year there will be a side that goes down that has a lot of talented players Yes If that's Southampton if that's Forest, whoever that is, mm -hmm. if it's a shock side we haven't expected, there yeah. will be a side that goes down with a lot of talented players. You look at Southampton, and they've got Coletta Carr, they've got um, Bella Kotchap, they've got Liv Romento, they've got Carl Walker Peters, they've got Ward Prowse. I could, I could keep going, to be honest. You look at Forest, they signed 24 new players in the summer. So. Yeah. It's a hard one to obviously predict in January about the summer business. And obviously Everton could be one of the sides that go down. But yeah, obviously do. you'll be bringing in all these new players. And Cornet is an interesting one because obviously he did, only, he did only just get that move to West Ham. Yeah. You're looking at bringing in these players in. Who then do you sort of ship out? Yeah. And who do you ship out? Oh. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I've got Gary Mina because while he is one of our best centre backs, he does does not stay fit, and he is taking up a significant amount of our wage bill. So mm -hmm. I think realistically for him and for us, the best is for him to move. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, potential clubs? Well, I don't know. He's he is he's got Premier League quality. Um, however, what club he moves to, I'm not too sure. Let me. Uh, who could he move to if England abroad? Maybe... I don't know about abroad. I don't know who would go to abroad. Maybe some Spanish club, like a Tafe. Yeah, something like that. Villa, mm -hmm. not Villarreal. Sorry, I don't. I don't, I don't even know who else there is. <laughs> All right, what what other players do you have going out then? Uh, I've got Neil Morpé, okay. and this is an interesting one because we've only just brought him in. However, he is just. He's just not a striker that fits us. Mm -hmm. He hasn't particularly done anything of use to us because, oh, no. well, he, he just hasn't. I think he's only scored once for us, I believe, and it was the goal against Palace, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, oh. And if real, well, assuming that we stay up and it's only just, we're going to need someone who bags more than Moe Okay, and you think he would be the guy to do that? Or you think Mopay would not be the guy to Mopay's do that? Mopay's not the guy to do that, so yeah. All right, fair enough. He's not the guy to do that. Who else do you have in there? Uh, we've got Calvert-Lewin. 
Um, okay. I absolutely love. I absolutely love the guy. However, he just does not stay fit. It's the he same reason fit, as me yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Again, one of our big, arguably no, not even arguably our best player. He's one of the best players. Mm -hmm. But again, he was in the England squad what two two years ago. And yeah, now it was he's long ago. Basically, no. missed the entirety of last season. Yeah. Scored the goal that kept us up, but mm -hmm. has it's just he's just struggling to have any fitness for any games. Fair enough. So, Do you have any more lads? Uh, we've got Dwight McNeil as well. Dwight McNeil. Again, same Ooh. as Morpe. Signed him this summer, however, seemed like a bit of a panic buy. Uh huh. And now you think it's it's time to move him on? Yeah, because again doesn't really do anything of any use no that's fair enough to be fair and yeah it, it, if you can get that kind of business done then it would be a very very interesting summer i'll agree with you on that one um yeah it's been a pleasure to have you on Javid. thank you thank for you coming on as always um go and i don't know uh good luck for don't not good luck for everton actually i want you to go down because it'll be funny and uh, i'll catch all of you at home in the next video see ya